The center of smart interfaces focuses on the research of processes taking place between solid, liquid, and gas interfaces. Here, the Institute Reactive Flows and Diagnostics investigates combustion processes with the long-term objective of fitting future engines and turbines with intelligent surfaces. I would describe the research that we do as application-oriented research. Its purpose is not technology development. That, in our opinion, we should leave to industry. Our aim is to develop methods that enable a non-intrusive observation of turbulent flames. Results from such measurements allow then for a much more detailed understanding of the processes. It is about developing methods that enable us to follow the extremely fast and complex processes of an operating piston engine. This is an interdisciplinary task involving the close teamwork of chemists, physicists, mathematicians and engineers. From the perspective of fundamental research, it is the interaction between physical and chemical processes that is of primary interest to us. Physical processes are transport processes and especially mixing processes, which are substantially influenced by turbulence. Chemical processes are the chemical reactions, the combustion reactions. It's important to mention in this context that there's a strong mutual influence between chemical and physical processes. The researchers are gradually unlocking the complex processes which take place during combustion in systems of practical relevance. A simple model system, an open flame, which, as yet, still has no contact with a solid surface. What kind of flow conditions prevail in the flame? What kinds of chemical processes take place in the different combustion zones? How do these affect the flows? This presents a technological and methodological challenge one that demands high-resolution spatial and temporal analysis of all combustion processes. Laser diagnostics enable the temperatures, chemical composition and flow fields to be measured without disturbing the combustion process being investigated. This gives young scientists, including students at the undergraduate, graduate and postdoctoral levels, a unique opportunity for practice-based research aimed at producing answers to industrial questions. The technology at this test rig measures temporarily highly resolved by use of single laser pulses. That entails instantaneous measurements along a line intersecting a scalar field, which here includes the temperature and all main species concentrations. Laser diagnostics have the advantage of being contact-free. The measurements are non-invasive. That way we can measure in situ, directly within the flame, without any feedback to the flame itself. This is unique to optical diagnostics. Laser diagnostics also provide an unsurpassed temporal and spatial resolution. The pulsed laser beam enables measuring snapshots of the flame. Several lasers can be used to measure different parameters simultaneously, depending on the experiment. In this example, the interaction of the flame with a stainless steel wall is being measured. The results provide the researchers with information about the temperature of the wall surface, as well as the gas phase within the boundary layer. Where is pronounced heat transfer to the wall surface? At which locations are combustion reactions incomplete? Detailed understanding of the near-wall reactive flows is essential in order to optimize practical combustion processes and to obtain a higher level of efficiency and lower exhaust emissions. The next steps entail influencing the exchange process via a passive surface, such as surface structures, and by catalytically active coatings that directly affect near-wall combustion. The last step, which no doubt still lies quite a way ahead of us, will be to actively influence the exchange processes. We've developed ideas for this. We see possibilities, for example, in the generation of near-wall plasmids that provide radicals or chemically reactive species for more complete combustion closer to surfaces. At the CSI, engineers collaborate closely with chemists and material scientists to layer the interior surfaces of combustion chambers with extremely thin coatings, which are of precisely defined physical and chemical composition. These may be, for example, catalytically active materials such as platinum or palladium, which optimize the combustion processes in the cylinder chamber. Next-generation engines and turbines could be fitted with such chemically active coatings, 
in order to achieve more efficient use of fuel and to meet the requirements of the ever stricter exhaust emission standards. The optically accessible engine comes closest to displaying this work in practice. Parts of the cylinder and also the piston are made of quartz glass. They make it possible to see inside the engine when it is operating. We want to look at how flow varies from cycle to cycle and then when the, how this can affect the ignition process. Once we have the ignition, we can look at fuel concentration, where the fuel lies in the combustion chamber and what's best optimized to look at the ignition process and further combustion. Once we have ignition and combustion, we can also look at flame front tracking and we can actually track the flame front growth and also relate this to the flow field itself, whether we have strong flow fields that can extinguish a flame kernel that's growing or whether this can help promote a certain type of combustion. The single cylinder engine makes 800 revolutions per minute. With different ignition times and different fuel mixtures, some rich, some lean. The laser measurement techniques developed on the model systems now come into play. High resolution digital cameras show in detail the flow conditions and chemical processes. We also want to look at temperature measurements inside the engine to look at how, how efficient is the combustion process and uh, how much are we able to actually burn, what are the heat losses to the engine itself. All this information is very important for numerical simulation as well, in which they try and use uh, numerical analysis to predict the combustion process or the flow field pattern inside the engine. Numerical simulation has become an indispensable tool for engine developers and its importance in the development of modern and effective combustion processes will continue to increase in the future. That is a reason why it is so important to validate computer models with experimental findings. The kind of data that is obtained here at the CSI. <laughs>